There are few places in the world that rival the beauty of Lake Tahoe on a sunny winter day. With its snow-capped mountains, towering peaks, and endless miles of trails. To fully appreciate the beauty of this place, all you have to do is take one of the gondolas all the way to the top and take in the breathtaking views. For decades, it's been attracting adrenaline junkies from all over the world looking for that magic run, the closest thing to flying without wings. It's the kind of feeling that awaits 24-year-old Connor Ford. He comes here as often as he can, but he's not your typical visitor. Diagnosed with severe autism, Connor has a limited vocabulary. Good, there you go, turn those feet. But put him on a pair of skis, and there is no need for words. He will uh, exhaust his instructors, where they're like, Connor, can we take a break? And he's like, just charging, he just wants to keep going. His mother, LaDonna, says the moment Connor even sees snow, something inside him just clicks. You can tell he feels it. He feels so confident. He's on the skis, he's got, he looks typical because he's skiing with his buddy. It is a dream come true. It's all the more remarkable considering where he started. When he was just three years old, LaDonna had a sinking feeling that something wasn't right. Doctors told her Connor was on the autism spectrum and would likely need round-the-clock assistance. I can't even tell you how devastating a diagnosis like that is. I've got this smart, computer-loving, sweet kid, and they're telling me he's just basically going to sit around and do nothing all day for the rest of his life. Then she heard about adaptive skiing and decided to give it a try. I was terrified he'd have a tantrum at the top of the slope and I'd have to go get him and they wouldn't let us come back. But instead, something else happened. Connor turned out to be a natural. 15 minutes later, he's skiing down the mountain with his instructor <laughs> and he's, he's smiling. It was amazing. So you're watching this and what's going through your mind? I'm so happy I could burst. His instructor, Michael Hunter, says the change in Connor was immediate. He definitely has a different energy when he gets on skis. He's in his own world. He's kind of looking around. He's taking in everything. Uh, but he, he continues when I bring his attention back here. He's focused on me. He's grinning. Connor is one of 500 students at Achieve Tahoe a ski school specifically dedicated to people with cognitive and physical challenges. Simply being in nature, being on the mountain, enjoying the snow and the, the beautiful skies around us and the uh, happiness that it brings out in people. Adaptive skiing is just like regular skiing, except it uses specialized equipment and training to allow people with disabilities to experience the sport. It started out mostly for the physically challenged in recent years, it's expanded to include a broader spectrum of disabilities. In our adaptive school, we see what people can do, and we believe that everybody coming through the door, as long as they have a desire to do it, they can get it done. Connor is one of the school's biggest success stories. As he effortlessly glides down the slopes, you can't tell him apart from other skiers, and that's exactly the point. Has it changed him? It has, it really has. He's more confident now. He's, he can do things other people can't do. I take videos and I show it to his teachers and they're amazed that the kid that they see in the classroom is doing such a difficult sport. And they look at him in a different light. It's not just his teachers, but Donna says it's changed how she looks at him too. I've always been told that Connor can't do things. He can't write his name, he can't brush his teeth, he can't, he can't, can't, he can't. And then I, <laughs> I watch him ski down these mountains independently. And he has a grin on his face and he's, he's having such fun. And for LaDonna and Connor, for whom life is an uphill battle, that's just the lift they need. <laughs>